During the day, biologist Terry Kasky is focused on making sure that projects around Calgary keep the environment front of mind. But every once in a while, that focus turns to something a bit more prehistoric. It definitely relates as science is science, and I've always just been a huge lover of that. And whether that's alive or looking at something from the past that used to be, it's all incredible to me. Last summer, she was able to dig into the past by volunteering with the University of Reading as they searched Dinosaur Provincial Park for fossils. The dig ended up being a huge success with the team finding a fossil likely preserved shortly after it died, meaning that some key details were still intact. It had mummified skin on it, which is really special because generally the soft tissues, the skin, the organs, tendons, they don't preserve in fossil record. So this is something really unique. For Kasky, it was a dream come true. I think like most kids, it started from pretty much birth. So I always had my dinosaur toys and loved every single dinosaur movie. And then throughout the years, I've my goal has been to get on a, a paleontological dig. And last year, I was actually able to succeed in that goal. This summer, the team is working on uncovering the entire Hadrosaur fossil, one of the most common yet iconic dinosaurs in Alberta. Gavin Bradley with the University of Alberta says these discoveries help answer some key questions. Do we put feathers in the dinosaurs? Do we not, not put feathers in the dinosaurs? And, you know, the answer is for some of them, yes. For, for others, no. Um, and when you find things like the impressions of scales or fossilized scales themselves in the fossil record, that definitely helps us uh, reconstruct certain dinosaur species with more accuracy. Once removed, the fossil will likely be displayed skin and all to help future generations understand in better detail the giants that once walked the earth. Michael King, Global News.